And let's stick with this discussion of municipal bonds. California, which struggled to get individual investors to buy its long-term bonds this week, it's switching gears, now trying to persuade institutions to buy its bonds by offering higher than corporate yields. You heard Brian Luke talking a little bit about this. Thomas Dalpiaz is a senior vice president and portfolio manager at Advisors Asset Management. He joins me now with his take on the California bond sale and also what's ahead generally for muni bonds. So, Tom, thanks a lot for coming in. You're welcome. So let's talk first of all about California. Big bond sale here being scaled back now a bit. We're seeing these high yields being offered to try and get investors in. What, what's going on here? Well, I think, unfortunately, California has kind of come at a moment that hasn't been so great as we're seeing in the past few days here. Uh, it's a new quarter. A lot of people are taking a fresh look at municipal bond yields. We've had, uh, gee, about a six-week run here where they've really come down bit by bit every day. Uh, a lot of people maybe held on to some municipals at the end of the quarter to do some window dressing. Now they're taking a fresh look. Yields have backed up a little bit. This is a very large issue to digest. Although things, those things combine, probably you're forcing them to kind of up the yields a little bit to get some uh, attraction here. What about California itself and its particular situation here? I mean, we know that the financial straits of the state are not fantastic right now. They're facing a budget deficit um, by the admission of the, of the treasurer who we spoke to yesterday. So does that also have to do with it? I think that certainly th that's the reason why you're seeing the yields that are being attached to this uh, bond at this point that they're backing up. Um, the spreads or the yields on these uh, bonds compared to very high quality municipals have actually come down a little bit since uh, May, June and July when they were really facing serious problems. They still face some very serious problems, but I think the fact that those spreads have tightened a little bit show that perhaps a lot of um, people in the industry believe that maybe they've stepped away from the abyss. But certainly, it's going to be a tough time for California citizens. There are some tough political choices that need to be made. I believe, ultimately, in the long run, that uh, they'll honor their obligations. But I think all California investors uh, of California state geos, it's going to be a bumpy ride. You have to expect that. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the more volatile credits out there. Uh, if you're comfortable with that ride and understand it, I think ultimately you'll be fine. And on that topic as well, when you look at their bonds, not just versus other munis, but versus corporations that are similarly rated, if there is this lower default risk associated with California, why are they yielding more than some of these corporations? You know, that's a good question. I think for that investor class, sometimes municipal bonds are still a bit of a novelty in the sense that taxable municipal bonds issued by municipal entities are, are still kind of an issuer that that investor class is trying to figure out. People who have been in the municipal bond industry will tell you that it's a state general obligation, that they have uh, tremendous tools in their kit to fix their problem. Um, I think people who are not that familiar with that kind of uh, issuer, such as the corporate bond investor and so forth, it, it, it's a new animal to them. So uh, I think that newness is causing some of this wider spread. But when you look at a state geo and all the things that they can do to rectify their problems, mm -hmm. um, it, it's a powerful list. And, um, you know, probably when things are considered that way, they probably should not be yielding that extra spread. But I think it's a lack of familiarity in a lot of ways. Well, let's broaden it out a little bit beyond California, too. Um, you talked about this end of the quarter sort of discrepancy with the muni bond market. So once we get past that, what direction do you think we're headed? Well, I think. The market right now is really recognizing that we had such a run there. And the municipal market is still retail dominated, so that from time to time you get what I would call sticker shock, where the retail investors, after they've seen a long run and yields have come down, they kind of step back a little bit. And uh, when you have additional supply, like we're facing right now, mm -hmm. another reason for people to step back. And I think that that's kind of what has happened here. Um, so um, I, I suspect. Uh, in October, November, we normally do see more supply hit the mm -hmm. municipal market seasonally. If that happens, we'll see people kind of step back a little bit okay. and, and just take a kind of another look. Okay, Tom Del Pies, thanks a lot for coming in to talk to us about Muni bonds.